Hey there, Thursday, February 1st, Greg Gagan with UAC. Dave Kelly and I are looking at an avalanche that was triggered on Tuesday. Uh, skier triggered avalanche, steep terrain, north facing, upper Days Fork. And we're looking at the snow pit on an adjacent slope, pretty thin here, less than two feet. This is the weak, sugary, faceted snow that it failed on. And this is a thin slab on top, weaker, but it gets stronger, one finger hard. This is the kind of terrain where you can still trigger an avalanche that fails in the persistent weak layer. It's thin with weak snow underneath. First, here's one part of the crown. It's about four feet deep in this spot. It's actually deeper in some places. And this is what happens when you trigger an avalanche from a thinner snowpack area. The avalanche was likely triggered from up higher on the slope where the snowpack is thinner, as shown in the previous video. And over here, we have a four foot slab and it failed on this weak, sugary snow down near the ground. So those avalanches begin in a thinner snowpack area and then they propagate widely where the slab is much deeper. And a good example of places we're talking about here in the Uintas and throughout much of northern Utah are places like just like this. A lot of thin spots with this weak layer. You can collapse it here and the fracture can just take off right across head down into where it's deeper and make a sizable avalanche.